I hope you all had a great weekend. Thank you to everybody who sent in your Alice in Wonderlands. They were amazing. We really loved them. So it's Monday and it's first aid back. So we know some of you are tuning in from schools and other uh, who are children of key workers are the ones who, who are um, painting with us at home. Uh, welcome everybody to our online little art school. And today we're gonna do a really lovely Treasure Island. <laughs> here by putting in our horizon line. Now, I, um, I've been teaching um, over the last few weeks, talking a lot about drawing lines freehand. The only exception I always make to that rule is if I'm doing a horizon line. A horizon line has to be straight. It really needs to be straight. So it's one of these things where it's best to use a ruler. Now, I want you to think about where's about halfway up the page and then go slightly above it, just slightly. But we, what, when you're painting, it's never a great idea to... Um, to split the page in half. So it, it, I'm going to measure this properly so that I don't have it going down in a diagonal. Oh, it still looks like it is. Hold on, let's start again. Eight. Go to the top. Eight, going to the top. I went to the wrong line, that was why. Okay, so we'll start off with our horizon line. So that's it, smack bang across the page, but not splitting it exactly in the middle. So there's our horizon line to start, and we're gonna pop in our sun. This is gonna be a setting sun. And you might think, well, why does that matter rather than a rising sun? But in the junior one, we painted a sky using real sort of dawn colors. And with this one, we're gonna really go for evening colors, which are very different. So there's my setting sun. And I'm gonna start with the very basic shapes for my little pirate ship, which is going here. I'm, I'm having it as if it's just heading in, heading in for some pirate fun. And what I want to do is just a very small mark there on the horizon line and a bigger mark there. And then I'm just gonna join those two very loosely there yeah, like that. And then just a couple of guiding dots here. I want to go about a third of the way up rather than in the middle of the boat, a third of the way up for the mast. A couple of dots to help me with my line. And then I want just a nice straight line there for my mast. So we've got our horizon line, su setting sun, start of our boat. And I just want, this is where I'm going to have the land coming. So just leave a small gap there. So the sea will go right into the edge. And we'll take it down here like that. And just very loosely, we're gonna have a few. This is gonna create our shoreline of our painting. So that is the first bit. If you pause now, and just get those first marks. Okay, we'll go, we'll start with the pirate ship first and then we'll go on and we'll do the um, pop, pop in, start putting in our pirate, uh, our, our palm trees here. So on the pirate ship, what I'd like you to do is just to make it look less like a sailboat, more like a pirate ship. I don't know what these things are called because I do not have any ship style knowledge, but I just want you to adapt the shape there and the shape at the end so that it comes up there. We can have a couple of little lines. We don't need much. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in some sails. We'll keep this really simple. I want to keep it very simple. So one, two lines, and then a slightly bigger one underneath, one, two lines. And then make sure that these sort of curve in that traditional pirate way. And then I'm going to rub out the mast lines, which I've put in very light, lightly underneath. And it's starting to look a little, you can see it's definitely starting to look a little bit more pirate shippy um, there. So that is the second stage of our mini pirate ship on the horizon. And here we'll put in the first stage of our palm trees and we're going to have two. So again, start with a couple of dots just to guide where you're going to. And we're going to take our first palm tree up about there, just nice loose line keep it quite slim going down and then widen at the bottom this one we're going to go right out so that the leaf sticks over the sun so if we take that about there we'll have it join there and then at the bottom again much thicker and coming 
up to there and we'll pop a, bit, a couple of coconuts in there and then the actual shape for the for the palm tree we'll just go a curve at the top and then some jaggedy little leaves at the bottom exactly the same on the other side curve at the top and some jaggedy leaves underneath and we'll do exactly the same here so we'll just start with the first two and we'll finish it off at the next bit so if you pause now start your palm trees off and just build and develop your pirate ship okay so if we go back to the pirate ship now and we'll start with the top of the mast let's give it a little flag and if you want to you can put a very basic here like i'm going to do it really basically here skull and crossbones can you see you could do a much bigger one here so it's just a kind of circle with a little shape at the bottom and putting the eyes and a nose and those shapes for the bones coming out so i've kept it quite simple so that's the skull and the crossbones and we'll have a couple of little lines in there that's really our oh and also we need the rigging so let's pop some ropes coming like that one two three so it looks like we've got some ropes holding these sails in so we'll leave um, the pirate ship there like that and we'll just come and finish off these um, palm trees. So I'm going to add another three leaves onto each one. So each leaf will be like a curve and then this sort of jaggedy bit inside. We'll do another one there. And another one there. And coming out finish it off so that's our three there and we'll just do another three on these here now on your island bit if you like you can I'm just giving you sort of a basic outline here and then you could take it use your imagination and add in whatever you like so you could be I'll just finish this last palm tree here you could have a little you could have a little x marks the spot you could have as if as if the pirates have just buried some treasure and left it's your treasure island so please feel free to do what you like. I'm going to add a couple of coconuts at the end and then I'm going to go and paint it. Now, carry on watching. If you've got any paints at all, then I'll give you a few little painting tips. Um, but otherwise, grab your pencils, colouring pencils or your felt tips, whatever you've got, and um, colour it in. And please make sure you send us your treasure islands because we'd love to see them. <music> look as if it's an evening sky here if you want to see what a dawn sky looks like have a look at the junior one where I did it in very pale pinks but this one I'm going to use real um, lovely oranges to get that effect so you can see I've got a real orange there and in this one I'm going to do an orange but add a touch more a touch of red to it as well that's it so I've got those real evening colors so to get that in and go around these. What I'm going to do is just put in a little force field just to help me. So all I'm doing is going around my palm trees with some clear water. So you can see I'm doing. I'm not going to go around the the. Oh no, I will do. Only take me a second. So it's like I'm showing the water where it can and it can't go really. And we will go right over the sun. So that's fine. And I'll just make sure that we've got a line there at the sea and the same round the boat. Although I think what I might do with the sails is go black. So I'm not too bothered about the sails. I'll just go over those with a black pencil next. And then I'm going to take my orange one and I'll go across the horizon line with that one. There like that. You see, it's a lovely, lovely, real sort of evening colour that I've gone for there and I'll take if I take that up slightly again you can see look it's going around the trees the magic force feels keeping it away from them and I'll just go I will just go around 
And now I'm going to go in with this much sort of more ready one here at the top. I think that looks quite evening-y. What do you think, Elizabeth? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like a real evening sky. We um, live on the west coast of Scotland. So lots of the people who are watching do as well, who all come to our little art school classes and we get the most incredible sunsets up here. But we've been looking at where people are watching the videos and then we can see that they're all over the world. So for anybody who's watching in India or in um, America um, and Australia, it's, we're loving having you watch these. And this tropical island is not a Scottish tropical island. We have beautiful islands here, but they are not tropical, that's for sure. So that's that's the painting on the evening sky. And while that's drying, I'm just going to get a couple of watercolour pencils here. I'm going to use a, um, a yellow ochre here on the sand, and I'm just going to let that really flow into the sea. So I'm just putting some sand in there. And a bit there and here on this one to give a really warm feel I'm going to go here with my uh, burnt sienna which is a lovely um, colour and let me see if I turn the yellow the yellow ochre first so that keeps that nice and pure there and then as it starts to meet you see what the effect it's having. And the more water I put, the less pencil marks I'm going to get remaining. But I actually quite like having the pencil marks. I'm going to keep a few in there. And I'll just join that. And then I'm going to leave it to dry for about five minutes. Then I'll come in and just finish it off with the, um, the boat and the trees and the sea. Okay, so I've let my washes dry now. And they're all nice and dry. And I'm just going to go back in. I'm going to put a little bit of extra orange with my watercolour pencil over the sun, just gently like that. I'm not even going to turn it to paint, I'm just going to leave it so it looks like that. And I'm going to take my black and I'm going to go around the, put the mast in first and then I'm going to go around each flag. I'm, I'm not going to paint them all in, I'm just going to go like that, quite hard because I am going to come and turn this bit, I'll go around the skull and crossbones like that and then I'm just going to take my really small brush here and give myself a bit you see I'm just popping the water in there and turning it slightly not all the way I don't I want to keep the skull and crossbones white so I'll go like that with the rigging I think it's, that's what it's called I'll just use my pencil quite lightly or you could use a pen right and with the boat the hull of the boat, that's my little bit of boat knowledge. I'm going to go around it like that. I'm just putting a few marks. Then when I turn it, those lines will stay. Far too much water on my brush there. Now if you do that, if you put too much water on your brush and you're left with this kind of pool, you can, all you need to do is get some artist best friend otherwise known as kitchen roll. Press it down. You see it will lift that up and we'll go back in. But it's not sopping wet and it won't take about an hour to dry. So we've got that in and with the um, palm trees, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edges of them quite hard with this very dark green. And then I'm going to turn it into paint so that it's, so that the, um, it's not super dark, it's just a bit more interesting. So I know quite a lot of you have been on this weekend to our little shop to see if you can get our pens and pencils. So um, it's uh, pretty easy to get onto and you can order watercolour pencils or ordinary colouring pencils if you're short of those or the paint palettes that I've been using, they're all on there so here we go I'm just going to take my brush slightly and come in can you see that's given me this kind of it's the paint's very light now inside and darker on the outside but I quite like the effect of it but the um, paint palette in the background gave us that really nice um 
smooth wash. So it's quite nice having the two because you can flip between them then. Do your details like this and using the pencils where it's much easier to get fine details but then you can use the paints for your big washes as well well i wasn't very neat there you can see i should might need to come back over that a bit later with a bit more pencil and now i'm going to just pop in the coconuts with some brown and i'm going to do the tree trunks what i'm going to do for the tree trunks is put in the edge like that and then I'm going to come down it with these small marks like that to get the edges in. Just You can take your time, I'm trying to do it quite quickly. And then get your small brush again. I'll just turn it. Same here. And we're just going to finish it off now with some colours in our sea. Now, the sea generally reflects the sky, so it should have some oranges in it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go for a real sort of Caribbean blue here. In it. I might have some bits of orange, just where the sun is. And lots of blue. Oh, blue is the opposite of colour wheel to orange. It's quite nice having blue and orange sitting together. So I'm going to turn this here. I'm using my big brush here because I don't really want the pencil marks. Keep it nice and smooth. And you can see where the orange and the blue are mixing together. They're kind of going a little bit muddy. So I'll change that first, change the orange first. So I get that orange effect. And I'm just going to let this mingle onto the paper. Like that, and that's the end really of this painting. We would love to see yours, whether you've done them in paint, in um, pen, in pencil, however you've done them, we'd love to see your tropical islands. So do send us those and your pirate ships and we will see you tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you're gonna go away now and really make it your own, really add to it, change it, really adapt it, because it's just a basic we've given you there, but you can really change it and, and create something rather spectacular. So I hope you liked it and we will see you back here tomorrow with our lesson available every weekday for as long as you need us. And tomorrow it's gonna to be the circus. Mm -hmm.